standing on 7th Avenue. Looking up at the house. Neighbor. It looks like there's plenty of room upstairs. However, I've been unable to get up there. I'm going to do a quick walk through coming through the front door. this little room off the living room to the front of the house bedroom This looks like the old asbestos tile, floor tile, it needs to be covered up. There is a very old wood floor, feels a little bit spongy. This was obviously an add-on room out this sliding glass door. The biggest concern is that is definitely moisture and it feels damp. This is a big room though. Okay, back into the living room, bathroom, off the living room, there we go, floor damage, floor is a little wavy. And into the kitchen. Which has the hallway to, first of all, this is a utility closet. Hot water heater is located. Pretty good size room. Big enough for another bathroom. 
and then down the hall to this, to another bedroom. Closet. And here is that pull down ladder. However, it's broke. There's half of the ladder is gone, and I guess that's why this chair was sitting here. But I can't jump from the chair up to the ladder. And it is pretty dark up there, so I really couldn't tell much what was going on. I'm going to turn this off and look and see if I can look a little better with my flashlight. So the kitchen opens into this big room back here. Washer dryer. Again, the old tile floor. And this opens into another bedroom. And this room really smells like cigarette smoke. I think that's why they keep the door closed back here. So there is actually four bedrooms being used here. And coming out the back door to the backyard, off the alley, There is an old garage here. With um, shingles over it. It is locked. With the rolled roofing on top. And just on the other side of that yellow house is the uh, Cherry Valley School.